So why is it so important to have Transport Month in the city of Johannesburg? Uh, Transport Month is not just a, a city of Johannesburg initiative. Transport Month is an initiative, um, is a national initiative, and actually um, national, provincial and local Mm -hmm. are celebrating Transport Month as, okay. we, as we speak. So uh, another one of the, the, the reasons is that, you know, during the year and or in some other months in the year, it is not very easy for us as uh, transport politicians and both officials to actually go out there and meet and engage uh, with all our stakeholders. Mm -hmm. As you will understand in transport, we deal with a whole lot of different uh, stakeholders. We've got our mini bus taxi operators, we've got bus companies that are under transport, We've got, at, at provincial level, you will have your, your, your rails. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, so it is not easy for, for anybody to be actually, to, to have dedicated time mm -hmm. to actually go out there and listen to their challenges and ideas on how we could uh, improve uh, on, on transport. So sure. we take this opportunity every year in October to actually go out there and engage with our communities and um, um, also get an opportunity to educate our communities mm -hmm. on issues around transport safety and the fact that, uh, you know, roads are for everybody. They are not just for motorists, uh, but roads are also for pedestrians. Roads are also for cyclists. Anybody who uses the road has a right to use the road mm -hmm. because you, you do find in some instances that motorists would feel that they have more rights to, to be using, to be utilizing our roads, whereas it is not like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, you have a very intense program here um, for, the, for the entire month. Yes. Um, so this program deals with the city of Johannesburg's transport yes. issues. Yes. The yes. city's transport yes. issues. Yes. What is different about the topics here on this program this year? Okay. What we try and do every year when we sit and plan for Transport Month, we look at some of the items that we were not able to, because I must say to you that uh, one month is actually not enough mm -hmm. to actually do this. So you'll find that we will choose quite a number of items, but something is left out. So we make sure that in the coming year, then we include that. So we, you will find that our program has got similar activities. Sometimes it's got a different, one or two different so activities. So I'm taking you have to that, prioritize. Yes, yes. So like in this uh, 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 transport month, uh, we had our, the launch of the transport month, which was on the 3rd where we uh, went and um, did the ribbon cutting of the mm -hmm. M1 um, highway, mm -hmm. Oxford and Federation, yeah. which we felt was quite an achievement. Absolutely. Because that project took longer than it was expected, mm -hmm. but finally we got to a stage where we can say, now we can open the road up for our motorists to use. And I would like to take the opportunity to thank them for their patience mm -hmm. uh, during construction, because uh, they had to leave home early, they had to use alternative routes, which were taking them longer to get to work than usual. But mm -hmm. they were patient with us, and we would like to really thank them. And, and, and say that, uh, you know, when we fix a road, when we rehabilitate a road, we're doing it for the benefit of the motorists. Mm -hmm. It might be a frustration when the construction is being done, but afterwards, they are the ones who will benefit from a properly built uh, a road. As the mayor mentioned a, a couple of times, uh, the city is behind maintaining roads, road yes. infrastructure. Are we playing catch up? It's hard not to notice all the construction going on. We, we want, we would love to play catch up, but I must say that the, the infrastructure backlog that we have in mm -hmm. the city goes to billions and billions of friends. And therefore, we are going to be able to do this. It's going to take us longer. Mm -hmm. It's not going to take us uh, as quick as we would want it to. But with the limited budgets that we have, we prioritize roads. What we did on GRA, we, we've got this uh, assessment of roads that we do mm -hmm. every two years. 
Uh, the last one was done in 2013, and we've just finished one now in 2017, um, uh, where uh, this um, assessment will tell us which roads are very good within the city, which roads are good, which roads are not very bad, but mm -hmm. and which roads are really bad. So what we have decided to do is that with the limited budget that we have, we have decided to concentrate on those ones that have really deteriorated. Mm -hmm. We would love to look into even those that are still good and maintain them in order for them not to deteriorate. But because of the, the, the budget constraints that we have, sure. we are forced to actually look at those that really need uh, to be rehabilitated.